All right, let's compare the difference between a bucket policy and an IAM policy because they seem really similar and it can be a bit confusing as to why would we have uh, two ways of doing things, but let's talk about it. So S3 bucket policies have overlapping functionality as an IAM policy uh, to grant access to S3. S3 bucket policies provide convenience over IAM policies when granting S3 access. So the idea here is convenience. So uh, let's take a look. So with an S3 bucket policy, it provides access to a specific bucket and its objects, whereas an IAM policy provides access to many AWS services and can provide permissions for multiple buckets in one policy. So you know, if you're working with lots of buckets, then IAM policy makes more sense. If you're working with a single bucket, bucket policy makes more sense. You can specify multiple principles uh, to grant access. So think users, think AWS accounts, things like that. Whereas an IAM policy, you always attach it to something. So the idea is that it's going to default to one specific um, identity. So you're not gonna use that identity uh, uh, key value in JSON. So if you want to specify multiple principles for a specific bucket, then a bucket policy is gonna be better. A bucket policy can have up to 20 kilobytes in size, whereas an IAM policy, uh, policy is based on its principle. So if it's a user, it's got two kilobytes. If it's groups, it's five kilobytes. If it's a role, it has 10 kilobytes. So um, you know sometimes bucket policies are better because they have that larger file size when it's one particular bucket. One other thing to note is that uh, block public access is turned on by default and will deny all anonymous access even if a policy, a bucket policy grant uh, is there unless the feature is turned off. So just understand that that is a little bit different for, uh, than IAM policies. Um, so, you know, just make sure you're aware of that, okay?